we're going to do another flat frame construction joint. As you can see by the detail here, it's a cross halving joint. Now it just describes the shape of the joint. It makes a cross. So this would be used maybe say in the centre of a door where you have a rail going across and a rail coming down the middle. It could be used in a window frame. Uh, it just depends where you want to use it, okay? So this is it all closed up. If you pull it apart, you can see the joint is actually a match, a mirror of each other, and they come together. So half out of this one, half out of that one. And that creates the cross having joint. So I'm going to do two, go that again, show you how to mark that out just now. So I've got two pieces of wood. First thing, as always, mark your face and edge. Now it's critical you get into the good habit of using your face and edge marks because it makes sure that the joint's not going to be upside down, back to front, inside out. Okay? So there's the two parts marked. Now, the joint crosses over here. So we're just going to put it in the middle. So I've already measured this and what it means is I need to come down from the top 30mm. So I'm going to take this tool here, which is a tri-square, which is used to mark lines at 90 degrees to a face or an edge. So we're going to mark a line 90 degrees from this edge. Now when you're using this tool, make sure that it's tight against the wood. Using it like this, using it like this, using it like this is not acceptable. You have to make sure it's tight against the wood. And a good way of doing that is if you can pick it up with one hand, you know the wood's tight. So take your steel rule, we're going to measure down 30 mil. So 3 -0. So you're just going to slide your tri-square back until you find 30 mil. Mark a line. Nice sharp pencil, one thin line. You don't want to do loads and loads of lines and creating a big mess. Now, the next thing we're going to do is our wood's going to come across here. So you could use the wood as a template to hold that there and mark it. Or you could measure the size and the size of the wood is 40 mil. So again, lay your steel rail down, line up there at 40, a wee mark there. So that gives you your other mark. Then take your tri-square, again, holding it tight against the edge, slide it along until you meet the line that you're going to mark. And then a nice light line across there. Now this bit we're going to remove. So we're going to mark this, identify this as waste wood. We're using our hatching lines or waste wood lines to identify that. So then we know that this is the bit we're going to take away. Now, we need to extend these lines down the side. So again, use your tri-square and extend these lines down, making sure the wood's nice and tight against the tri-square. Extend these lines down. Okay, and you're going to do that on both sides. So extend these lines down, making sure all it's nice and tight. Okay, so that's piece number one. Now piece number two is a copy of that. So you can use that as your template and put two marks there, which is going to give you your width. So again, take your tri-square, make sure it's tight, mark your line. Nice crisp line and a nice sharp pencil. Okay, and then extend your lines down. So this time, because this joint is on the opposite side, we're going to have to extend it round. Because as you see from our original joint, one bit's coming out of the top, the other bit's coming from the bottom. You see? So we need to transfer our lines all the way around. So for this bottom one, as I say, just transfer your lines all the way around the block, making sure you keep it nice and crisp and they should all line up with the other side. Okay, so take a minute, take your time, there's no mad rush, and make sure your lines all line up, okay? So, if I put that there, I know that it's not this bit that I'm removing, it's the bottom, so I flip it over, and I mark my waste wood, or hatching lines, on the underside. So that's the two joints, so they'll come together like that. Now, as I said earlier, it's half out of this one and half out of that one. So our wood's 20 mil. We need a line parallel to uh, down the centre, okay? Parallel line from the edge, but exactly in the centre. 
Now the wood is 20 mil thick. So we're going to take a marking gauge and we're going to set that to 10 because that's obviously half thickness. So then we're going to take our marking gauge and making sure it slides along the edge. We're going to keep it against the waste wood side and we're going to scratch a wee light line in between our two sizes, turn it round to the other side. Again, a wee light scratch. You're not trying to dig through. Just take your time and then highlight that right away. Now, waste wood here, so this bit needs to be marked as waste wood too. Turn it round, fill in your gauge line, and again, your waste wood's here. Make sure you're marking your waste wood or hatching lines there. So that's one piece. Now, this one is going to be the underside. So again, using your waste wood side, keep your marking gauge along there and scribe it along. Turn it round, do the same on the other side. Highlight your lines. Highlight your parallel lines. Now, this is where people can make a mess. They can cut this bit. But because we've already identified it with our waste wood lines, we know that these waste wood or hatching lines are on this side. So that's why it's important that you highlight things as you go so you understand you're going to take the right, the right piece out. So my face and my face and my edge and my edge are lining up. But as you can see, this bit gets the top part removed. This bit gets the bottom part removed. That then creates our joint, which comes together to form our cross-having joint. Okay, guys.